Thank you once again for joining me. It's day 36 of our seven week spiritual journey, and I'm honored that you have joined me for this day segment. Day 36 When you help the poor and needy, do not do it for public recognition. In this generation or in this day and age, we have a good number of social media platforms. Almost everyone with a phone has an access to a camera. And we have seen a lot of videos, uh, photos of people helping those, those in need, uh, getting a video of themselves with a, peop, with, a, with a person or a photo of them with a person and they upload it on the social media. Uh, Bible has some guidance for us in that regard. Matthew chapter 6 verse 2 to 4, Jesus said, When you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and on the streets, to be honored by men. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret, then your Father in heaven who sees what is done in secret will reward you openly. So in this Bible verse, Jesus mentioned two very specific locations. One, the synagogue. Synagogue is a church. And why is it that Jesus is mentioning that when we do good to others, we should not mention it in church? Number two is on the streets. Like it's anyway, we're telling people that I've done this. This is how much I gave. Uh, more like, I'll say like on the internet or social media. Uh, Luke chapter 16 verse 15 will give us some clarifications further on that. Jesus said in Luke 16 verse 15, You were a noble, pious expression in public, but God knows your evil hearts. You, your pretense brings you honor from the people, but it is an abomination in the sight of God. So uh, what Jesus is trying to address here is people doing it for their own personal self-gratification. They want to receive all the, uh, the praise and adoration from men that they have done this or they have served others. Um, Jesus is trying to address that. As Christians, um, everything that we do must be and should be always for the glory of God. Anything that is done apart from that is an abomination in God's sight according to Luke 16 verse 15. Ellen G. White in the book This Day with God, page 227 reads, There is true honor among those who have the love of God in their hearts. Our object in working for the Master should be that His name may be glorified in the conversion of sinners. Those who labor to gain applause, applause are not approved by God. The Lord expects his servants to work from a different motive. So God is expecting us to work from the motive that God's name should be glorified. So that when we do in secret or when I'm, when I'm preaching in the church and if I'm sharing about something that I did good for others, I should have a very good motive. My motive should be to extend or to help others to worship God better. And to help someone in need not to get all the glory to me uh, th those are two different distinctions that needs to be uh, clarified so in this statement from John Bunyan he states he who bestows his goods upon the poor shall have as much again and ten times more so there is a blessing in helping but there's some caution that we need to be mindful about when we are helping others so it pays to trust God, it pays because God honors those who honor Him. So if Jesus is telling us to, to conduct ourselves in that manner, when we help those who are need, in need or those who are poor, we should not do it for public recognition, we should do it for the glory of God. Thank you, that's all for our day 36. I, I would like to invite you once again to join me for day 37. Thank you and God bless.